Hey guys, it's Skin Freak, and today we're going over five reasons you should not buy CSGO skins. So guys, I'm still giving away the Flip Knife Vanilla. The giveaway is still going on. If you want to enter to win a Flip Knife Vanilla, all you have to do is make sure you subscribe with notifications turned on, leave a like on this video, leave a comment down below, and then follow the steps on the Gleam link in the description box below. If you do enter the giveaway, good luck and have fun. And just a quick disclaimer before we get into this video, I'm not saying you guys shouldn't buy CSGO skins overall. I'm going over five situations in which you shouldn't buy CSGO skins and also some reasons when you should buy CSGO skins. So this video is just to help you guys out here. It's not supposed to like hate on skins or tell you guys overall not to buy skins because literally look at my name. My name is Skin Freak. I skins equal wins anyway before we get into today's video a quick sponsor from dmarket.io it's essentially a platform where you can buy and sell csgo skins with instant clicks on the blockchain so if you guys know anything about crypto it essentially goes through the crypto market allowing you to instantly buy skins sell skins trade skins with super low fees and you're not gonna have to pay high fee amounts when you're doing so so essentially it provides a very safe and a very easy way to trade any virtual items for anything whether it's money or for other items or whatever you're trading it for and the other cool thing about D market is that since it is on the blockchain the transactions are going to be insanely fast and secure and immediately synchronized so you can sell a skin and literally within a couple minutes already have your money in your account boom like that simple as that anyway that's a quick overview of dmarket.io make sure you guys check them out because they sponsored today's video link in the description box below at least just go give them a visit and check them out you obviously don't have to spend money or buy skins or sell skins but since this video is about buying and not buying skins i figured it'd be a good video to to talk about d market with that being said let's get into the first situation where you should not buy csgo skins so anytime there is a brand new update please do not buy the skins okay don't buy the skins right when they drop because since the skins are new they always start off with a low supply and a very high demand therefore placing them at a very high price point but if you look at the history of any csgo skin that came out with a new operation or with the new case you will see it always starts off at this insanely high price point and then quickly drops down over the next couple weeks as more and more of these skins get unboxed and brought into the community and as the demand goes down which of course drops the price to a new more accurate like average value for the skin so essentially don't buy any new skins and if you unbox any please sell them and you can rebuy them in a couple weeks okay you might unbox the skin right when it comes out for a hundred dollars sell it for a hundred dollars and in like two weeks buy it for like 65 dollars and obviously that's a lot better than wasting 35 dollars but like i said this these are just some situations in which you shouldn't buy csgo skins just trying to help you guys out if you want to buy them right when they come out you know be, be my guest anyway the next situation we have here actually just recently happened so recently the skin market crashed a bit when valve implemented their new seven day trade ban so in my opinion the skin prices are going to continue to go down a bit but this could also be a great opportunity to buy csgo skins because if valve realizes that their seven day trade ban is hurting their community and not benefiting it and they decide to get rid of it then the csgo skin prices will go back up to what they used to be so if you spend a hundred dollars on csgo skins while all the skins are down on a very low price and then valve decides to get rid of this seven day trade ban skin prices go up 50 percent or even double then that's you know 50 to 100 dollars profit you just made from just spending a hundred dollars on csgo skins and just playing with them and holding them like you literally make money playing with CSGO skins. But the thing about this is it's kind of tricky because it's contingent on the hope that Valve is going to remove the seven day trade ban. So if they don't remove this trade ban, then you're either going to keep $100 of skins or even lose some money. If the skin values continue to go down, the $100 might go to like $90 and you lost $10. So it is risky, but that's a pretty cool way where you can actually buy skins and make money as long as you can get the timing good and with a little bit of hope from Valve. The next type of skins you do not want to buy are very rare skins. Because yes, very rare skins are worth a lot of money, but if you think about it, more of those skins are eventually going to end up in the market. They're going to end up in the community because people are going to unbox them or trade up to them or whatever it is more of them are going to be added into the community and therefore that's going to lower the overall price of this skin because that's the supply increasing over time causing the value to drop because also the demand for these super rare skins are pretty low as well so if you have a lower demand and a higher supply that's obviously going to hurt the value of that skin 
And if you think about it, that's one of the main reasons why very high tier skins dropped a lot in price over time, even way before this recent trade ban thing. Like, look at the old M9 Crimson Web that everyone was talking about like two years ago that sold for $20,000 and compare that price to what that knife is currently worth today. And you, you, guys, you guys can go look at the difference, okay? You can see the difference. Coming into our number two spot, if you're going to buy CSGO skins, you need to know that it's a risky investment. So for example, I had a lot of CSGO skins recently just sitting for sale in my OP skins account. And then when this recent unexpected seven day trade ban fiasco happened, the prices of all these skins in the market began to drop as everyone was trying to quickly sell off their skins and therefore causing me to lose money. Because if all the skin prices are going down, let's say I was selling, I don't know, $6,000 worth of CSGO skins then that price basically went down to $4,000 because I had to lower my prices to match with, you know, the normal market. Because if, if you try to sell a skin way more than it's worth, odds are you're not going to sell it. And you have to keep in mind, even if you're just buying skins to play with, with the mindset that like, oh, I could just play with them for a while and then sell them for the same price I bought them with. And it's basically like I just borrowed them and you're done with it. That could literally be risky because you're holding the skins and an outside factors such as the trade ban can easily happen again causing people in the market to panic sell their skins and like i said making the price drop overall so if you're holding a hundred dollar knife expecting to play with it for a couple months and then sell it for a hundred dollars again and something like this happens that hundred dollar knife will go down to maybe like eighty dollars and you would lose twenty dollars but once again you know you're not losing all of your money but that's still twenty dollars that you lost just something to keep in mind i'm just saying so the last point of this video is based off a lot of players opinions okay not mine because like I said earlier in the video, look at my name, okay? It's Skin Freak. To me, skins equal wins, okay? If you don't have skins, okay, you don't have skill. It's, it's as simple as that. No, but on a serious note, a lot of players do feel that CSGO skins are just a waste of money since they don't give you any advantage in the game other than just showing off and making your weapons look cool. But I don't know. That's not my opinion. Just, just a popular opinion. So I figured I'd, I'd have to at least mention it because once again, disclaimer here, look at my name. Okay, look at my name. I'm that guy who has a dealer and gets like one kill, but I have a dealer, so it's, it's all good. Anyway, that's really it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, make sure you guys check out dmarket.io. They sponsor today's video, and since this video was about buying and selling and when to buy and when not to buy CSGO skins, I figured it was a perfect video to throw this into and talk about dmarket. Once again, it's a way you can buy, sell, and trade CSGO skins on the blockchain very fast and very secure and very efficient. So make sure you guys check it out with the link in the description box below. Like I said, you don't have to even make an account or pay. Just go check it out, see if it's something you like, and if it's something you like, you can use it. And if, if you enjoy it, then my job here is done. Anyway, don't forget about the Flip Knife Vanilla giveaway. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a future video from me. And with that being said, this has been Skin Freak. I will see you guys in my next video. And until then, stay freaky.